everyone. Today we're going to be making a popsicle stick catapult. All the materials you need for this activity are right in front of you. You can see that you'll need 8 to 10 popsicle sticks, some pom-poms, about 5 rubber bands, and a plastic spoon. The first thing that we need to do for our popsicle stick catapult is stack our popsicle sticks together. So I'm going to stack eight of my popsicle sticks together. You can make your stack as, you can make your stack a little smaller if you'd like. It just depends on how many popsicle sticks you have. So you're just going to stack them right on top of each other, like so. And once you have your popsicle sticks all stacked together, you're going to take your rubber bands, two of them, and rubber band your popsicle stick stack together on each end. So I'm just going to put the rubber band on the sticks like this, twist it once, and put it over. And if your rubber band's big, you might need to twist it a few times. Whoops. Twist it a few times to get it tight around your stack. You're going to do the same thing then with the other rubber band on the other side. Now that I have my stack of popsicle sticks rubber banded together, I'm gonna set that to the side and take two more popsicle sticks and with these ones you're going to stack them as well but you only need one rubber band and you're going to rubber band these two together only on one end. Like so. Now we're going to rubber band the two popsicle sticks to the stack of popsicle sticks. So you're going to take a rubber band and holding the stack in between the two, you need to take your rubber band and do an X pattern. So we're going to put it around the two popsicle sticks, around the stack, twist it, bring it back down around both of those, and then over the stack again, twist it, and bring it back around the stack and around, if you can get it around the edge of the two popsicle sticks and that should make it so your two popsicle sticks are rubber banded to your stack of popsicle sticks. Again that's just around the two, around the stack, twist it over here, bring it back around the stack and the two, bring it over here around the stack, twist it there, and then back around to here again. Our final step for this catapult 
is to take your plastic spoon and we're going to rubber band it onto your popsicle stick catapult right about there. So you're going to take a rubber band holding your plastic spoon, you take your rubber band and you put it around the top of your spoon and under the popsicle stick there, but not this popsicle stick, just this top one. And twist it a few times so that it is nice and tight around the popsicle stick like so now it's pop it's rubber banded to there and your catapult is complete once your catapult is complete you can take some pom-poms and place one in your catapult and take it holding the bottom of the catapult and pulling back the spoon you can make your pom-poms go flying Because this is an engineering challenge, I encourage you to edit the design of this catapult, seeing if you can make your pom-poms go even farther by editing things, maybe taking away some of the popsicle sticks in the stack, adding some, putting the rubber band in different places on the spoon, whatever you'd like to do to try and get your pom-poms to go the farthest.